Our continuing coverage now of the marijuana industry here in Colorado and more regulations are coming to the medical and retail marijuana industries that state regulators feel will help improve public safety. Besides, Laura Wilson joins us tonight in Pueblo with an update. Laura. Yeah, well, we've seen some changes specifically to edibles. This is something dispensaries have known about for the better half of a year, and most of them have gotten a head start on phasing out those soon-to-be outdated products. In the ever-evolving industry of retail marijuana here in Colorado, <laughs> edibles will once again have more regulations added to them. Come October 1st, dispensaries can no longer sell edibles shaped like fruit, an animal, or human. The idea behind the new rule is to prevent kids from confusing the adult products with candy or a chewable vitamin. The ones with the gummies, I thought that one time when they first started coming out. Some dispensaries already making the switch. All of our product is compliant and up to date, so we're all good on when it comes to the regards with that. I'm sure that there's probably some still out there, but most of the companies we deal with are already compliant. The other change can be seen in how manufacturers label the product's potency. It's got to be at least 10 point font, two sizes bigger than everything else around it in a box, or it's got to be in a yellow box, highlighted. Jim Parco says when marijuana was first legalized, edibles were very challenging for manufacturers because of all the regulations being added to them in a relatively short time frame. And then within a matter of months, they thought, oh, we have to add a new symbol. We have to add this statement. And if you were a manufacturer, you had to throw everything away and reprint it. But this time around, he says Pueblo County dispensaries had plenty of time to prepare for the October 1st deadline. The MED now is taking their time and giving people four, six, sometimes eight months notice. <laughs> Customers agreeing that in this case, change is a good thing. Alcohol, we regulate and make sure that underage ain't happening. We do the same with marijuana, so that way people know that it's just like alcohol. It's going to be treated the same. And these regulations will apply to both retail and medical marijuana starting October 1st of this year. Rob, back to you. 